what's up guys this is offensive seahawks fan back with another video and today you read the title right you read the thumbnail right and you are hearing this right we are going to attempt to do a madden 24 seattle seahawks rebuild post pete carroll era we have who i really really think is going to be the new seahawks head coach it's dan quinn he's been with us before he keeps eyeing that he wants to have a reunion with the Seahawks. It keeps getting reported from even Dallas insiders for media that he's going to be with the Seahawks most likely. We have requested to interview him for a head coach job. So much circulating. Just make it happen. Uh, we're going to be starting from the playoffs from this previous or this ongoing season still in real life. Um, and I'm going to be reiterating this a lot. I have never attempted to do a rebuild so um at times if i don't know if it looks like i don't know what i'm doing uh it's because i don't know what i'm doing um but we're gonna be looking at this lineup and seeing what we could do i'm gonna be pulling up my quick memo notes that i have to maybe help us a little with this uh rebuild so here's the team we got obviously geno smith Kenneth Walker and Zach Charbonnet. Good uh, running back duo right there. Got Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf, and J or JSN. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Um, great receiver using trio. Then promising young O-line, especially with our two tackles. We got Charles Cross and Abraham Lucas. A very decent option in Damian Lewis. Uh, then Bradford, he's a rookie. Evan Brown is on a one-year deal. Uh, decently tight ends. Um, Noah Fant. He's good when you need him to be good. Will Disley, he ain't that good. Colby Parkinson, he's actually been promising these past two seasons as a Seahawk. Um, and swapping over to the defense, which is in a 3-4. Uh, I'm more of a 4-3 guy, but actually we might change that. I don't know. I just, I prefer having a full D line with just two linebackers most of the time. Or three linebackers out most of the time. That's just what I've always played when I played Madden. But we got, obviously we got Bobby Wagner, we got Jordan Brooks, we got upcoming Boye Mafe, who's been a stud this year for the Seahawks. We got decent uh, safety trio, Jamal Adams, Quandre Diggs. But then Julian Love, who I think I'm going to be having over Jamal Adams. And then good secondary, we got Tariq Woolen and rookie sensation Devin Witherspoon. Interesting D-line, we got Leonard Williams, who I'm definitely going to try to bring back if possible. Um, Jaron Reed, he's getting up there in age, but he's still pretty good. Draymond Jones, he's been very lackluster, I'd say, for the Seahawks. And then obviously special teams, we got Jason Myers and Michael Dixon. Best punter in the league, baby. All right. So, we're going to skip all this. We don't care who wins the Super Bowl. We're going to sim to this off season, And we'll get to what I what I really have in mind. For, like, cuts, trades, free agency, extensions, all that fun stuff. So, I don't know if we can trade yet. We can't trade yet. Um... We're gonna we're gonna look at team salaries and see um, like who's getting paid what, uh, who has the like biggest contract, which would be Tyler Lockett, Jamal Adams. We're definitely gonna try and trade um, Diggs to Will Disley. You're getting paid way too much, man. Um, we're gonna try and keep Brooks. We gotta keep Love as much as we can. We gotta get rid of Monet. He's getting paid twelve million dollars to. I don't even know what he does really. Um, but yeah, we'll get we'll get onto that right now. Uh, staff week. We don't need to do anything for uh, staff week. I don't know if we can trade at the re-signing period or if it starts when we can start signing free agents. We're going to check right about now. Okay. Can we trade? We can't trade yet, but we got 21 players that could be resigned. Okay. All right. Jordan Brooks, obviously, we do want to resign. Um, 
yeah, I'd say we do a, a player friendly low risk one. And all right, he resigns. Boom, that is the first thing that we wanted to do. Devin Bush, I don't want you back. I know a fan can't really say I do. Damian Lewis, mm, no. Leonard Williams is a must. You don't, you don't trade for someone midseason and not re-sign them. Like we're thinking logically here. Um, we're gonna give you another player-friendly low-risk deal. Accept it. All right, he does accept it. Um, no one other, or really no one else that I want back. Uh, actually, we do want to bring Wagner back just for one more year. Uh, yeah, he's going to resign with us, which is nice. Yeah, but we don't want any of these other people. I am going to resign Loa Fanto for, for two years and see if he will accept it. Okay, well, he's not going to sign it. Cool. We will resign Damian Lewis, though. We'll give him three years and see if he accepts. Okay, he's not going to. None of these people want to come back, so. Oh well. <laughs> oh freaking well. That's all the people I've, I really want to re-sign, so. Here we go. Can we trade now? We can trade. This is good. First order of business. I want to trade away Jamal Adams. He's just taking up a lot of money. Like unnecessary money. Um, let's see if really, if, if anyone wants him, like anyone needs a strong safety, I will gladly give him to you for some picks. I'm only gonna need the notes out for really just this uh, off season and then after that. I'll only really need it for the last few. It's not looking like really anyone uh, needs a safety. Uh, Jacksonville does. Let's see what you can give us. <coughs> After I cough up a storm, that actually really hurt. Um, let's say a second and a fifth. Would that work? Okay. Jamal Adams for a second and a fifth. We'll take that. We will 100% take that. And then another player I want gone um, is Brian Monet. So, yeah. He just taking up so much money, unnecessary money, dude. No, I don't, I didn't mean to press goals. Um, okay, be difficult, I guess. Monet. Gone. Release. Free up 5.9 mil, but a penalty of half a mil. We can do that. It's okay. Alright, so let's go. Let's do this. We got this. Let's, let's look at free agents. We want a left guard. We want... No, we don't need a strong safety because we're going to keep Julian Love and progress him. Um, we're going to look at some, uh, guards, left guards, see if there's really anyone worth taking. Dalvin, or Lakin Tomlinson, I mean, he does, he's 32, he doesn't really fit, like, what I want to do with, with a rebuild, necessarily. So, I mean, Damian Lewis is there. He's 27, though. We're going to look elsewhere for now. Center. We could use a center. Connor Williams. He's actually a pretty good player. I think we're going to make an attempt for him. Let's do a three-year deal just straight up like this. Um, next one on here is DJ Reader. If he's available, which it doesn't look like he is. So... Um, Try for Grover Stewart. Let's do a two-year deal. All right. Um, is Devin White available? Devin White is available. 
We did re-sign Bobby Wagner, though, but Devin White is younger. Um, and Wagner's only going to be around for just one more year. And then corner depth. We could use corner depth. Like, um, like an Adore Jackson or a uh, Jeff Okuda if they're available. Which not really look like they are okay. Uh, oh, there's Jeff Okuda. It's not really what I'm looking for in a corner though, but he's a boomer bust player. He's 25. Let's do, let's do a three-year low-risk deal, with, which is really what we've been pursuing right now. Let's go back to the guards, because I do want to try and get Lewis back. I'll just do a, a, a little-risk deal. And see where we go from there. And I have a trade in mind with the Chicago Bears. Take a guess. Let's see. Oh wait, we're going to choose a draft class first. I know this early into an offseason, which is not really an offseason, but for the Seahawks it's an offseason. I know this early into that, having an act, the actual draft class of what could become, it's not really the most ideal, but we're going we're gonna to do it. It's, it's only for, I think, this first draft, though, so. And we, we obviously got the big names. We got Williams, May, Harrison, Fashanu, Neighbors, and then everyone else. So, it's, it's go time. We are going to see who we sign, though. Because if we've signed everyone we've wanted, that would be nice. We have signed Connor Williams, Lewis, and Okuda. Um, Grover Stewart still deciding, and I guess Devin White's made up his, uh, his mind. Yep, he signed with the Eagles, and of course he did. Okay, well, um, Frankie Louvu was actually next on my notes. So, we'll just do that, and then we'll see where it also goes from there. I keep saying that a lot, but we're going to be rolling with it. We're just going to sim to the draft and then take another look at the team. Um, maybe make this trade with the Chicago Bears. Which, literally, you, you probably know where I'm trying to go with this. But if it doesn't work, oh well. Um, just line up, let's see how it, it's looking like right now. We're going to generate best lineup. Alright. We got we got pretty much what we want for offense, I'd say, outside of a tight end. Defense, it's looking sharp. We're looking good. We're looking ready. I do want to change to a 4-3, though, because that's just what I'm more comfortable with. Oh, like a, yeah, 4-3... A base 4-3, that's what I am most comfortable with in a in a defense. It, it just looks so much better to me as well. Um, so, targets for the draft. Another D-tackle, or two. A tight end. And, yeah, that's really all I'm looking at right now. But, let's try this trade with the Bears. And if it doesn't work, oh well. Bears, I would like Justin Fields. I will give up Geno Smith. And let's do a third and a fifth. I know I just got those from Jamal for Jamal Adams. But okay, it works. Why didn't it work? We don't feel the offer. Oh, what the flick? Maybe just a third. Okay. 
Okay, it's not gonna work. We'll we'll try something else. All right, let's just let's start the NFL draft. Let's do this. We're ready, Bears. Just draft Marvin Harrison. Like you know you want to. Yeah, you did. You didn't screw it up. All right, we have the 18th pick. We really should have the 16th, but it's okay. Bengals, they draft Malik Neighbors. Cool. All right, Seahawks. We got quarterbacks on the board. Jaden Daniels, I am a fan of. A big fan of, actually. But is Penix here? Penix is here. And this was my backup if we couldn't get Fields. Michael Penix, Jr., Great deep accuracy, great medium accuracy. He's under pressure, it should be lower than that. Let's be real, but... Boom. Hidden development. We are building this team around Michael Penix. That's why I wanted to try to trade Geno Smith. We wanted to build over a, a different quarterback. I love Geno. I love him so much. But he's not the long-term guy here. If we're thinking future right now. All right, now we will look at D-Tackle, because that's the thing I wanted. All right, um, let's look at Tavondre Sweat. Finesse moves and block shedding could be better. He has great tackling, what Seattle needs. Power moves is fantastic. And he has 6'4", 362, great dimension. Um, yes, I turned the draft clock off because I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to miss the, the player that I could want. So, and I think this guy looks good. I think we're going to do it. Hidden development as well. We're looking strong right now. We're looking strong right now. All right. We have the 12th pick in the third round. This is where I'm going to be, um, maybe... Actually, let's let's see if there's anything for a tight end. Nope, not not uh, that. All right, we got Gadsen, we got Lachey, Lackey, something, whatever. Let's look at Lackey. His catching is spotty. His catch and trap are those really good. Run blocking, it it's gonna be really hit or miss. Same with deep route. Um, we're not gonna bite the bullet on that though. We're gonna, we're gonna look elsewhere. We're gonna look at another D tackle most likely. Makai Wingo. Actually, he doesn't look that good. None of, none of these guys are really worth taking right here. Um, let's look at like outside guys. And eh, no, no, and no. We actually gonna look at free safety because I'm planning on trading Quandre Diggs. Um, these guys don't look that good either. Honestly, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna we're gonna sim pick. Let's see what we take. Okay, Javon Bowler, strong safety. Not the position I was looking at. But all right, we have the. Um, oh, I didn't mean to press that. We have the 18th pick in this round as well. So. I think if that tight end is still there, we're gonna we're gonna take it. Bengals take Blake Corum, okay. Not what I envision. Mm. Okay. Latchy is still here. He's 6'6", 253 pounds. From Iowa. I think, yeah, I think this is the move here. Normal development. 87 speed. That is really fast for a tight end, I would say. Alright. One more pick, and then I feel like we'll just let the computer do the rest after. After this. Mm. I think we gotta start looking at receiver because Lockett is gonna be gone soon. And that's another guy I would plan on trading. Um, uh, 
I don't, I don't think uh, I would take one right here, though. I don't really know what I want here. I might, I might draft one of these guys, though. Lad McConkey is so much better than it than this shows, I think. At least to me. Uh, Tez Walker looks decent. Catching, it, okay, no. You have to have good catching if you want to be a receiver. Yeah, I think we're just gonna. I'm satisfied with what we have drafted here. And let's just sim to the end of the draft. And then we'll start with some things. No, oh, I think the team looks ready. I feel like the team looks ready. Alright, let's look at the draft recap. Let's see how we did. Panic, 74. Uh, Sweat, 73. 72 for Bullard. Latchy, not really what I want. And then the rest was... Eh. It was just eh. But year one of three, I'm going to try. Let's, let's do this. I can do this. We can do this. Let's look at the team before we start this, though. Just to get another overview. Um, Penix, you are going to be the starter. And Gino, no hard feelings, man. We're going to uh, put you on the trade block. and You have gray hair, okay. And just see if anyone is interested. That right, line looks solid. Um, defense looks pretty solid. I'm excited to see how Sweat does. He's going to be the defensive tackle one in a few years, maybe after this season. Depends on what, you know, what happens. And we're going to put Bullard at free safety. And then we're going to trade Quandre. We're thinking long future here. We've got to think about the young guys. The raw talent that we possess. And we're going to trade Quandre. To. To anyone that wants him. Which is not looking like anyone. Alright. No one wants him I guess. <laughs> Huh, really? No no one needs a safety, huh? Really? Interesting. Alright. Well, oh well. We'll keep Quandry for the season then, and then we'll see how we are. Alright, we're going to be simming to the mid-season mark. All right, mid-season point, two and five, interesting. We do have trade offers for Geno Smith, so let's review it. Let's see what we can get. No, I don't need a running back. Eh. Screw it, why not? Corner depth, give me. I would never take Taji Spears. He's good, but I don't need a running back. I had to get an extra sixth out of him. All right, well, um... Let's send to the playoffs, I guess, and see what we can do. <laughs> Very weird. I didn't think I'd be two and five, but oh well, I guess. After the season, though, we're gonna be making some more trades. Probably trades that you're like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> All right, we finished four and thirteen. Yikes. Okay, well, let's advance to the off-season, and, yeah. <coughs> Goddamn. Alright. 
staff week. We don't do anything with that. So year one, Dan Quinn, you know, not not too good. It's with a relatively young new team though, so. Alright. Resigned players. We have five that are ready to negotiate. Julian Love, absolutely. We want to keep you as long as we can. Let's do a four-year deal. Okay, you then. We're going to pick up your uh, five-year option, I think it's called. Trey Bound, no. No. Wagner, I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to franchise tag you, though, Love. We need you as much as we can. Actually, if if Disley will take like a, a two-year deal for that, okay, we'll keep him around. All right, Wagner, it's been an honor, man. But the future is not with you. I'm sorry. All right, let's see what we can get. Zach Martin. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go all out for this <laughs> for this team in this offseason right right here. Um yeah, we're gonna want Zach Martin if we can. Um No. Really really nothing that I'm really like eyeing at right now outside of the fact that Zach Martin was there. New Armstead. Yeah, Reed's not going to be here for much longer, so. We'll see if we can get you on board. Um, Petonio, I think. Yeah, yeah, we're going to. We're going to try for you. Eh, that looked like he might. He might not accept that one, but. We'll find out. I also should have checked how the boys did after last season. That's on me. Sorry. <laughs> okay. 11.26 on Saturday. I have no idea when this is going to come out, by the way, if I actually finish it. But. Maybe, maybe, uh. Monday, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah, let's look at how the boys did and also preview to see if we've signed any of the players. Looks like a lot of people are regressing. Not what we wanted. Um, yeah. Ugh. Did Quandre retire or something? What the frick? Yeah. Alright. Obviously, we gotta do better. And did none of the people sign with me or something? Okay, screw you. I I signed do Eric Armstead at least. Okay, well Wyatt Teller, you're the backup, I guess. Giving you a lot of money. Okay, well, that's not enough, I guess. We'll look at more left and right guards. Okay, none of them are really worth taking. None of those are worth taking either. All right, let's up the deal on, on our boy. Our boy, Wyatt Teller. I doubt he lasts at least four years. Excuse me, but we'll see. We're at the top of the offer list for him. That's good, that's good, that's what we want. Absolutely what we want. <sighs> Alright, did we sign them? Did we sign any of them? We signed Wyatt Teller. Petonio went to the Buck School, I don't care. Alright. Looking good here. Building this O-line, this is what we want. And we're going to send to the draft, and I, I'd say we might have a top five pick. We'll see. 
if there's like a good tight end or something there. We're going to take it. Or, uh, I don't know actually. Tight end would be my biggest thing right now. Actually, hold on. Anyone want Lockett? Like, seriously. Anyone want Tyler Lockett? Anyone. Could be anyone. Chiefs. Let's, oops. Let's see what the Chiefs would get us. I feel like Lockett and Mahomes would be a, could be something. Let's try a second and a fourth. Boom. Second and a fourth for Tyler Lockett. Love it. Let's go. Let's start this draft. We've got things. Please say I have a top. I have the second overall pick. Rams don't take something I would want. Of course they did. Of course they would do that. Alex Spearman, Georgia tight end, goes first. Don't need any of these quarterbacks. We could use an outside linebacker like it request or it said that we should. Honestly, I feel like we could, yeah. Romeo Bell, that that sounds like a, a Seahawk right there. He's not in any of our needs though. What about this uh, left outside linebacker? Is he in a need? No. He actually doesn't look good either. Um uh, there a tight end? Not worth taking right now, at least. Actually, wait, wait, hold the phone. A, catching traffic. Catching could be spotty, but run blocking in deep route, I like. Let's take hidden development to Sean Kendricks. 86 speed. I know we took a tight end last draft, but he kind of sucks. So, all right. Now I say we go for an outside linebacker. Preferably one to replace Uchenna. And also we gotta get a receiver because we just traded Lockett. I wouldn't draft one now though. Uh, outside linebacker. That one looks horrible. Hmm. Nah. Just nah. Actually, we don't need a, a guard. Might need a right guard, though. I don't know. Cameron Booth looks pretty good. A, awareness. A, impact blocking. Pass and run blocking is both B. Why not? Cameron Booth, normal development. Not really what I was looking for there, but we'll see. Then we have the 26th pick in this round. Didn't mean to press that again. I keep doing that. All right, I say we go for an outside linebacker now. Sticking to it, going outside linebacker. If it'll load. Come on. Don't do this to me. There we go. Theo Stevens, Jaden Jones. They all don't really look good. This don't look good, really. Mmm. Let, let's let's read what it says about you. He, he is 6'2", 244. Zone coverage sucks. He's just really not good. Uh-uh. Alright, well. Scratch that. Even though I just said we're going to stick to it. Let's see what receivers got in store. Troy Sims. That looks god-awful. How are you a projected round one and two? You're catching... The most important thing is a D. None of these receivers look good. Jesus Christ. Okay, well. What else could we do? We don't need an end. We don't need a D tackle. I, I say we're, we go with Theo Stevens, actually. Normal development. Cool, I guess. Um, we'll let the AI do the rest of the drafting for us. 
I don't feel as good about this draft as the last one, but we're going to find out what happens. Round seven, wow, that went by fast. All right, how did we do? Draft recap. 76 for the first two guys. I like it. And then just bad after that. Wow. Um, okay. Back to the drawing board. Okay. Well. Mid-season. Here we come. Midway mark of the season. And crap. We are 5-1. and one. Oh my goodness. Uh, we have a breakout quarterback thing. I think we're going to start looking at these things that can maybe help us. All right, what's this say? Penix is coming off a stellar game. Is he in the process of taking the next step? Yes. Uh, sure, yeah. Wish upon a superstar. Okay. Cool. Six and, or, yeah, it's five and one at the bye. Pretty good. Let's upgrade players as well. Get them going. Kenneth is going to be a 91. It looks like cool. All right, let's uh, let's sim to the playoffs. Hopefully we make it. That would be nice. Oh my back is killing me. I wasn't even back there at the gym. It was buys and tries. Which I'm seeing veins I have never seen before, so it is pretty cool. 13 and 4, but the Niners won the division at 14 and 3. Okay. Well, we made the playoffs year two. That is awesome. These upgrades are going crazy as well. We gotta we gotta look at the boys and see how they did. Panics 11th in the NFL in passing. Not bad for your uh, rookie year. Or was last year's rookie? I keep forgetting. Nope. First or second year guy. Kenneth Walker, amazing year. DK and JSN both had a thousand yards. They were five yards apart as well. Awesome. Um, 77 tackles, Frankie Lugu. Or 98 total and eight sacks for Draymond Jones and the leading interception was Tariq Woolen with six I love to see that all right let's let's see what we do in the playoffs all right I'm interested to see what we can do in these playoffs lose 21 to 13 to the fucking Panthers awesome that's what we're doing Ben, make sense, please. Why should an 8 and 19 be a 13 and 14? Whatever. Nothing I can do about it. Out of my control. <sighs> Let's see how the boys are looking with their overalls. Alright, a lot of progression. I like seeing that. I really do. Mm. So let's do this and see if anything changes. Okay, Kendrick's pretty good. Panix is coming along as we need it. Uh, defense, it don't look the greatest, but it's working. We're, we're doing good with what we got. And, yeah. Especially the secondary. All right. Promising heading into year two. We're just going to sim to the offseason. We don't need to do all that bull crap at all. All right. Chiefs win the Super Bowl. Cool. All right. Resigning players, period. We're going to hopefully keep Julian Love around. Yeah, 13 players are ready to resign. Alright, Kenneth Walker, absolutely. We're going to keep you for as, as long as we can. 
All right, he resigns. Awesome. Love it. DK Metcalf, you have to resign. You're a Seahawk for life. All right, he resigns too. We're shelling money out. Julian Love, I don't give a damn you're staying. Let's do two years, but big money. You're not leaving. I don't get why you think you're going to be leaving. I'm tagging you again. You're it, buddy. Tariq Woolen, we obviously want to keep around as much as, or as long as we can. He resigns. Julian Love, take notes. We're going to pick up both JSN and Witherspoon's fifth year options, of course. We need them for as long as we can. Boye Mafe, I feel like we need to resign. Alright, he resigns. Um, Abraham Lucas, yeah, I think we're going to. Alright, he resigns. We're resigning literally everyone we want. Draymond Jones, no. 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 Yeah. Sure, why not? Keep the best punter in the league around for as long as we can. Alright. We're letting some of the older guys go. Uh, I think we're going to be trading the Wosu next. Which might suck to have to do, but oh well. He's probably 30 years old in this sim. Let's check that. Our O-line's still looking pretty strong. Freaking Kendricks is going up to a 78. That's awesome. Um, Panix is looking good. Um, yeah, Nawosu, I think it's time to trade you and draft a right outside linebacker. We'll just add you to the trade block and see if, see if anyone will be willing to take you. Um, we need a left end. Yeah. So just a left end on defense and outside, right outside linebacker. And I'd say we'd be set. Let's see if we can get any of those in, in this. Marcus Williams, I feel like we should sign. For as much as he wants. Let's boost up the salary a little more. Alright. Uh, I like our current free safety, but he he's not progressing as, as fast as I want him to. TJ Edwards. Alright. Could get ourselves a right outside linebacker right here. My stomach won't shut up. Ooh, we might have to up it a little bit more. We got steep competition. Good thing we got money to spend. Put me at the top. Thank you. Um, you said left end, right? Yeah. Left end. Let's see what's available. Nothing really. I don't want Tremont Jones back. Uh, John Franklin Myers. No. None of these guys really catch my eye. They're, they're just a little, a little bit old. A little bit too old. We're just going to send to the draft. And hopefully we got the guys that I wanted. And hopefully there's a trade offer for Nwosu. Or a few. And we could take one of them. Okay, we don't have a trade offer for him just yet. Let's see if we got any of the guys that I wanted us to sign. Alright, we got Edwards. Um, we got Marcus Williams. Okay, that's good. That's really good, actually. <laughs> 
We didn't get a left end. We'll draft one first, probably. We'll probably have the... We probably won't have a, a good enough pick. We have the 24th pick. Let's draft the left end. Alright. First pick. It's going to be a left end. If there's one worth taking. Alright. We got options. We got Daryl Abbott or Julius Manning, it looks like. He's a top fit for us, a second one. Good block shedding, good power moves, tackling is spotty, finesse moves, very spotty. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it. Hidden development, I like to see that. It's just a little, little slow. A little, a lot slow. Next pick. Um... Probably some receiver depth, because after DK and Jason, we really don't got much. Um, definitely not. How are you around one to two projected pick? We'll probably draft a, a strong safety, because we'll probably let Julian Love go after this year, because he, he just really wants to go. Hmm. <laughs> No, we don't need a middle linebacker. We got two pretty good ones. Kasim Linton might be the move. Probably not, though. We don't need a quarterback. We don't need a right tackle. Mm. Let's draft Linton. Feel good about it. Not really, but his tackling is fucking awful. Hit power is pretty good. Man coverage, pretty good. Zone coverage, spotty. Normal development rate. Gambling, more gambling. Alright. Done drafting. The drafting sims at least go fast. Alright. This is the final season. We have a trade offer. Is it for Nwosu? Yes. Let's review it and get rid of him. No. No. They're just throwaway players. Good draft picks, I'd say. Why not? We'll give you to the Titans. Why not? Why the hail not? Alright. Let's look at how the draft went. 71 for a bot. Not a good draft. Like at all after that. <laughs> oh well. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna hopefully do good in this final final season midway here we go mid season mark and one and five really I really don't understand but okay let's look at some stats let's see how the boys are doing in this putrid season barely over a thousand yards that's horrible running horrible obviously the receiving is not good in the slightest Jeez, man. Come on. Like, what am I doing wrong? I'm doing everything I can to make this team. No, not manage team, manage roster. I'm doing everything I can to make this team look good. Like, how are we, how are we looking in, in this? That's the line I'm looking. Regressing, regressing everywhere. My God. Defense, it's just a bunch of star players, and it's just really all. Well, um, hopefully we could have a, a decent end to the season. I don't, I don't know, man. 
come on. At least four wins. If it's anything less than four wins. Doing another season. And if not, we finished 11 and 6. What kind of a turnaround was this? Okay. We're facing the Rams in the, in the wild card round. We're going to upgrade some players. Think of Dan Quinn have a talk with his team or what? <laughs> That's awesome, man. Um, let's look at stats, yeah. Let's look at stats. Panics finished pretty good. Interceptions are a bit spotty compared to his touchdowns. Kenneth finished strong. DK Ninjigba finished strong. I don't care about that. And the leading tackler was Brooks with 112, and then newly signed Edwards with 105. Uh, interceptions, Reek led with four, who led the sacks. Nine and a half for Leonard Williams. That is what I love to see. Same with you, boy, Mafe. With nine, that's really good. All right, let's uh, let's hopefully win this. This upcoming uh, playoff game, you know. Right, Salmon in the next week. Come on. We beat the Rams by 10. We got a rematch against the Panthers. I feel like we should, like, actually play these games. Um, and, like, you know, sim to what we need to. And then hopefully go in if we need to and play and see how we do. It's a night game in the Seattle. In the Seattle. Cool. Alright, hold on. We're gonna... Nope, nope, stop. Let's... No. Can I do this right? End of the game. Okay, 7 and 0. 7 to nothing. 14 to nothing. 14 to 7. 17 to 7, okay. Alright. 20 to 7. Alright, we're going to the... We're going to the NFC Championship. Okay. Wow. We took down the Bryce Young Panthers 20 to 7. Wow. Okay. We're doing good. We are doing good. Final season, we gotta we just have to make the Super Bowl. Like we it's just a need right now. We need a ring. We need a ring. We just need a ring. Alright, who are we playing next week? Come on. The 12 and 5 Cowboys with CD Lamb. Okay. They have Micah Parsons and Dak Prescott still. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Oh, cool. We're playing in Dallas. Awesome. Sim, end of the game. Oh. All right, seven to nothing. Ten to nothing. Really? What an absolute joke of a team! What an absolute joke of a fucking team this is. Let's at least. Try to get some points. Good job. One one play and I and I already score points for us. One play to DK Metcalf. One play. Okay. They're at the ten. We gotta jump in again. Third and three. If we can make a stop here, like get a turnover of some sort. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Oh my god, we have a chance. Go, Brooks. We have a chance. Lock in, Penix. I know you're not the greatest in clutch. Oh, yes. 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 Two plays and I score touchdowns. That is... That is better than what the Sim has been doing for us all of this game. 
No. Oh, I, was, I was close. You almost got me there. All right. We got to play great defense here. Play great defense, Seattle. You all know I suck at playing defense. And if, you've, and if you're new to this channel, I suck at defense. <laughs> like, I really do. But I do know that they're going to be passing, so we'll commit to the pass. All right, Dak. Like, what? What? I was controlling love there. I don't even know what I was doing, to be honest. All right, Brooks, what are you going to do? Well, looks like the season's going to be ending, most likely. Because I can't do a thing. Sack. Yes. Huge. Only a two-yard loss, but huge. I don't get why they're not taking timeouts. They have three. No. Damn it. All right. They're just going to probably run this ball. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we lost for sure. Thank you, Madden Gods. Why are you passing? Yes, they am back, this buddy. Oh man, that goes. All right, here we go. To make or not make the Super Bowl. All right, he's iced. Gay is iced. Matt Gay is iced. Kick is up, and it's good. What a what a nice way to end the season. No, 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 no. Do not take that kick out. We got two seconds to make a play. Um, something like that. Oh, man. Like DK one on one right here. I'm gonna block Kenneth. I'm gonna block Kendricks. We're going to put both of those on go routes and just see. No, 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 no. <gasps> I hit this button that almost made me stop recording. That's why I stopped there. Oh my god, what the hell was I thinking? can't be as loud as I want to because it's midnight right now. No shot with this good guy. Oh my god. In a miracle, in a miracle, we're going to the Super Bowl. This is so scripted. I'm confirming the NFL is scripted right here. Shaking bad right now. <sighs> We're playing the Dolphins in the Super Bowl. The 13 and 4 Dolphins in the Super Bowl. I have no idea how we're going to do, but. The fact that we're even here right now, this season's such a W. From how it started to how it ends, no matter what happens. I'm proud of this team. 
All right. They get a field goal. We get a field goal. They get a touchdown. We get a touchdown. All right. We have a chance to make history right now. Dan Quinn could be a Super Bowl champion right now. We just got to play smart. Okay, third and seven. We got the first down. How is this 10 to 10? I really, really want to know. Okay, go Kenneth. Superstar Kenneth. It's going to be the two minute warning here. Yeah, this is a little shimmy shake. That's funny. Two minute warning. Tied at 10. We got it. Let's do a screen. Because why not? Oh, it's going not the way I want it to go. We'll do a slide and then we'll block Kenneth. That was a risky, risky throw for six. Five wide. Tucker, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, man. Okay, I guess we're switching the whole play around. I was trying to switch plays, but I guess this sort of counts. Jackson's been eating on this drive. Oh my god. A minute, three seconds until this rebuild is done. Get off me, man. Oh, oh, oh. The way I play defense, we have to go for two. No, I can't risk it. I'm going to keep this ball out of the end zone, hopefully. Which we do. Okay, that's good. Alright. 51 seconds. They have two timeouts. We're going to be guessing pass every play because why wouldn't they not pass? Okay. Nice. I don't, good job, Tua. Classic Tua right there. To play the best defense I've ever played. Another dump off. That's definitely what you want to be doing. Uh oh, but well, at least you got your three yards back, right? What what the hell was I doing? I could have had a sack, but I didn't. All right, fourth and three. Put a spy on Tua. We'll put Mafe on that. This is the game. Nate Hobbs with the game clinching interception. Your Seattle Seahawks led by Michael Penix Jr. and Dan Quinn are somehow Super Bowl champion the rebuild in two one is complete the Seattle Seahawks are your Super Bowl champions against the Miami Dolphins 17 to 10 we just gotta look at the squad one more time we gotta look at this winning squad that I built from scratch I did not know what I was doing at all during this thing. I was just shelling out money to anyone that wanted it. Bragging rights. Yeah, give me that trophy. Look at this team one more time. Michael Penix. When it loads. Michael Penix. Kenneth Walker. DK Metcalf. 
Jackson, Smith and Jigba, Kendricks, Abraham Lucas, Booth, Connor Williams, Will Teller, or William Teller, I don't know his name, Charles Cross, then the defense. And the line ain't that good, but Marcus Williams, TJ Edwards, Frankie Louvu, Jordan Brooks, Boye Mafe, Julian Love, Devin Witherspoon, Tariq Woolen, Nate Hobbs, game winning interception for the Super Bowl. Leonard Williams, Eric Armstead, Tony Sweat, I think, and Johnson. Don't forget, as well, Jason Myers and Michael Dixon. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. And turn the notification bell on so you'll never miss an upload. I will see you in the next video. Go Hawks!